Hey guys, we're going to be talking about recording bass guitar through uh, an interface, so direct in within Logic Pro. When you open up a new, I'm, I usually open up a rock studio, but you open up a new rock studio here, you'll see that you have two bass tracks, but there's no interface uh, input button. So like, you, there's no I. See, like this one has an I, this has an input button, uh, but these two don't. So you have to pair one of these with something up here, which would be a guitar tone, to get the best of uh, the bass world, at least direct in. And a lot of times when people record bass, they kind of just go through one of the guitar tones, and they try to EQ it to sound like an actual bass guitar. Obviously, that's a compromise that you shouldn't be uh, having to make. So... What you do is you take one of these settings up here, one of these amp settings, um, the presets, and just click on the preset itself. And then when you come down here, you'll see bass guitar. There's also stuff for acoustic bass, uh, acoustic guitar, things like that. You know, it's just it's 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 got everything that you need. But here's bass guitar, and these are all the styles of bass that you can have. Similarly, when you open up the media section. You'll see these two right here. If you scroll, if you sideways scroll all the way to the end, you'll see the same amplifications for bass in the library. All right, let's say I want bass guitar setting American Stack scooped. Now I have an input and record button dedicated specifically for bass recording, and I can then from here have an actual bass amp and channel EQ and do things like that. This definitely is a lot better uh, than using one of the guitar presets and then EQing for the for the bass because it just it's horrible. It sacrifices a lot of the tone of the instrument. Um, I'm I'm really I don't know why it's not easier to get to this, but this is the way that you can crank up your own tones for bass guitar when you are recording. One problem that you might have when recording a separate bass track like this is uh, latency. Sometimes bass guitar has a more latency than guitars, or sometimes lower instruments have different uh, latencies. And I've gone over this in a different video before, but again, what you want to do is you go to Preferences, Audio, and what you want to do is you want to sh uh, play with the uh, I.O. buffer size. And I usually have it at 128. For bass, I have it at 64. Um, it works just fine. It actually gets rid of it completely. At 32, you'll probably have no latency problems at all. With that, you should be all set in recording your bass guitar track. Uh, you shouldn't have to compromise to just the guitar settings. You do actually have an entire bass setup that's within Logic. If you guys have any more questions on this particular subject, please ask me in comments. I will do the best I can to answer.